You can also send us an email question at questions at corechristianity.com. Here's one from one of our listeners named Andrew. He says, is the makeup of man a dualism of body and soul, or are the body and soul one and the same? I ask this question because I'd like to know how to best help my dad, who has various mental illnesses diagnosed by his doctor. He has PTSD, bipolar disorder, and OCD. Should my dad just take his medication, or does he need to repent, or both? What's the relationship between his body or mind and his spiritual side? Maybe the reason for his mental illness is sin. I just want to know how to best help him. Yeah, great question. I, I definitely want to get your your thoughts on this as well, Bill. First, you know, usually when we use that word dualism, we're thinking of two things that are opposed to each other, uh, sort of dualistic view of of the world and of the body. And there were people in the ancient world and even today who had this sort of view that the body is bad, physical is bad, spirit is good. You can even see this in the church to some extent. Um, but that's not true at all. The, the body and the soul are not opposed to each other. Um, and they are we would say distinct. We're not talking about the exact same thing. When we die, our bodies go down into the ground and our spirits, if you will, are in the presence of the Lord. We refer to that as the the intermediate state, but the body is good. That's why Christ assumed humanity to redeem our bodies because God loves creation, what he made, the body even. And so he's going to raise our bodies from the dead. But it does highlight the fact that the, when we're thinking about sin and even things like mental illness, um, this is really complex. Sin has affected every part of us, not just our our our, our bodies, but also our minds. Um, and, and so, you know, when we're thinking about things like mental illness, we need to take that very seriously. And I would say, yeah, medication is very much, uh, you know, can be uh, just a common grace thing that is good, that is helpful. Now, there are, I think, also abuses where people will um, maybe just sort of say, well, there's nothing sinful about what I do, you know, my, the decisions that I that I make, um, I'm just forced to do this. The kind of thing, maybe maybe blame shifting, uh, in terms of pointing to uh, some sort of mental struggle that an indiv- individual has. But I, I think that you, we have to have a balance here. We can't um, we can't minimize the the reality of mental health and and the need for um, taking care of ourselves as far as that's concerned. The reality of mental illness, um, but we also have to take ownership of our sins. Wouldn't you say, Bill? I think you're right on target there. I mean, the fall has affected us both ways. It's uh, spiritually, you know, we're bankrupt, but that at the same time, it's affected our bodies and our brains. And certain individuals are, are going to be struggling with it, whether it's, you know, diabetes or, or cancer or mental illness. And yet, as you said, God does hold us responsible for our behavior, at least what we're capable of understanding. Mm-hmm. I know in some situations with mental illness, you have a person who, let's say, is schizophrenic and they don't seem to really even be aware of what they're doing. But I think, and you've talked about this before, Adriel, how God holds us responsible based on what we are capable of of understanding. And I think that's a really key Mm -hmm. point. Yeah. And so, Andrew, I I think just, again, piggybacking is, it's sort of a both and, right? Like, so pursue the best of what's out there in terms of um, medicine and doctors and wisdom from, from people who know a lot about mental illness and mental health issues. But also make sure that you're you're filled with the Word of Christ, that you're drawing near to the Lord, that you're plugged into Christian community. We need we need all of that, and so I, that's what I would recommend for for uh, your father in particular. May the Lord bless the two of you. Hey friends, thanks for watching that video. I trust that it was encouraging to you. Please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're looking for more great content coming from Core Christianity. And if you haven't done so yet, would you give this video a like? It's one of the ways that we can continue to get the word out. Uh, So like this video and subscribe to our channel for more content. May the Lord bless you.